Dora Hawthorne entered the art gallery. A crowd of girls flocked in to look in the magic mirror display. Everyone wanted to find their true love, and the mirror claimed to show some women just that. There was quite a crowd, but it looked like the group had thinned since she was last here. She had been away at college, but she was home on break. She had not told anyone about the man she saw in the mirror when she was last home. Dora looked around a bit, but when she saw the girls around the mirror leaving, she hurried over to investigate the magic glass. At first, it showed only Dora's reflection. Then Dora's reflection faded, and she saw the same man she had seen before. He looked a little rough, not at all what she was used to. He had on a long-sleeved flannel shirt and dungarees. He was wearing a black, cowboy-style hat, which he hung on the back of his chair before taking his seat. He was in a cafe, sitting at a large table, surrounded by a large group of people. They had to be his family. The resemblance was amazing. A young boy called him Uncle Rafe, and he turned and grinned at the boy. He glanced up, and when he turned back around, he saw Dora in the mirror looking at him. He returned her stare for a minute, then turned and looked behind him to see if anyone was there. Not seeing anyone, he turned back around and looked at the mirror. He glanced around, but no one was paying any attention to the mirror. He got out of his chair and started toward the mirror. Someone called his name. He waved and said he would be back in a minute. He stopped in front of the mirror and stared into Dora's eyes. Who are you? he asked. I'm Dora Hawthorne, and you are Rafe, she answered. Rafe Haggerty, said Rafe. Hi, Rafe, said Dora. Hi, Dora, said Rafe. How can we see each other? I'm looking in a magic mirror, said Dora. It will show girls their true love. I don't believe in true love, said Rafe. I bet you don't believe in magic mirrors either, said Dora. I think you must be my imagination, he replied. I'm sorry I bothered you, said Dora with a sniff as she started to turn away. Wait, said Rafe. Dora paused to see what he was going to say, but she kept her head turned away from him. I'm sorry, Dora. I didn't mean to make you cry, said Rafe. Dora sniffed again, and then she looked up at Rafe. I don't know how the mirror does what it does, but I do know it works. I have seen the proof of it. Even my own mom and dad were matched by the mirror, said Dora. Hey, Uncle Rafe, why are you standing here talking to the mirror? Asked the young boy from Rafe's table. Rafe glanced at him and then back at Dora. He can't see or hear me, said Dora. Only you can. Rafe turned back to the boy. Go back to the table, Lars. I was just practicing the speech I have to give at the meeting. I'll be there in a minute, said Rafe. When Lars was gone, Rafe turned back to the mirror. Dora was gone. The mirror showed only his reflection. He waited a minute, then turned and made his way back to his table. All the while he was eating, he kept glancing at the mirror to see if Dora returned.